Hey, it's Dave from 34 Guitars, and uh, here to show you my latest jig fabrication. Uh, for you that follow me already know that I like to uh, laser cut out the fret fretboard inlays and use uh, epoxy resin, and uh, usually works out pretty well with uh, maple and some other woods that get cut by the laser pretty easily. On this build, I was deciding to try some of the Rich Light, uh, which is kind of like a paper and resin product. Uh, it's supposed to be, you know, very stable and it's very hard. Looks a lot like ebony, but the uh, laser will not cut it. So uh, that was kind of a problem. And with guitar building, you know anytime there's a problem, that's just an opportunity to build another jig. So that's what I did. And uh, <clears throat> kind of came up with a pin router system. And I did a little bit more of a simple kind of laser cutout. And I just used a poplar for the template on this one. And basically you just double side uh, sticky tape this to the rich light, put it in the uh, little jig here, and it's like a little mini pin router. There's a, a pin on the bottom that's sticking up right where the very fine eighth inch, well, it's uh, eighth inch shaft, but it's actually like a two millimeter router bit, and they're they're lined up perfectly, so you just put that over the the pin and and drop the router down, route it out, and uh, I'll kind of walk you through that. All right, I thought I'd just go over a few more things with the jig. Uh, here's here's the template that was cut out of poplar on the uh, laser cutout machine, and. Uh, it, it draws all the fret lines because that's the way I have it set up in there. So it's pretty easy to get it lined up. Um, I also cut the template out so that it, it lines up, you know, right with the end. Uh, it's a, a perfect match and it's also the same, same width. So it's pretty easy to get that lined up. Uh, as far as the the, the jig and the, the pin. The pin is basically just a little uh, nail that I had. It's probably three quarter inch long. And on the jig, I just drilled a little bit bigger hole about halfway through because this is three quarter inch plywood. And it would barely even stick out if I didn't do that. Uh, so big enough for the head to go through. And then I just, uh, kind of took a like a nail setter tapped it in there filled the back end with super glue so it, it doesn't try to back out or remove or anything and this this is a 1.5 millimeter diameter and the bit that's in there is a 1.5 millimeter uh, it's like a two two flute router bit uh, flat cut on the bottom and that's basically how they come out just fill with uh, your choice of epoxy resin I think I'm gonna try to create kind of a white pearl to go with the, the black and we'll see how that turns out this is the little set of router bits that I got off of Amazon uh, they're eighth inch shank and they start from left to right one millimeter one and a half millimeter two millimeter two and a half millimeter and I think 3.17 millimeters which ends up being the, the full uh, eighth inch and uh, for this application I'm using the third one in the 1.5 uh, millimeter and the pin is uh, exactly a 1.5 millimeter also, so they match up perfectly.
There we go. That's, that's the first one cut out. Super clean lines around the edge. Just takes a little while to hog that all out, but uh, they come out really nice. The other thing, <clears throat> uh, I have a air assist for my laser and I just run the tube in through where you would normally put a vacuum out and it just kind of blows stuff out of the way so you can uh, see just a little bit better, but works great. There's the end result. Super nice clean lines all ready for epoxy inlay.